Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and I am here to talk about the latest, you've heard it, it is the new firmware updates, the 1.7 update that brings you the auto switching 2.0. Now, auto switching was just recently updated, brought to the YOLO Box Pro. This new update, it's, it's a whole different thing. Let's get right into this. What I've got here is I have Yolo Box Pro, and I'm recording this on the original Yolo Box. So I've got both of them going right here. I am going to take this one and I'm going to switch it so that we can actually see the whole interface. And I'm going to record that. So I have multiple cameras here. This is actually my camera with green screen on the Yolo Box Pro, but I also have video. And then I put myself over the video using picture in picture. So this is my picture in picture or PIP. I have a camera overhead looking down at my setup here. I have a camera off to the side. This is my little USB webcam. You can always see it. It refocuses and the brightness can't really be controlled. And then I have a camera over here looking at the inputs on the Yolo Box Pro. Now, what we really want to talk about is this icon in the bottom right corner. I always get it wrong. The bottom right corner there with the two cameras. You can see it right over here. This icon down in the corner. This is our auto switch. Now, there's a couple settings in here now. The video sources, you can turn on which cameras you want. HDMI 1, SD card. I'm going to use the picture in picture video. HDMI 2, USB, and my HDMI 3. So I'm going to use four inputs. Done. I can set any of these to different times. By default, they're about 10 seconds, or I have set these to five. Done. Five seconds for each of these inputs. Loop. This is a very important thing. Now the auto switch loops. It doesn't just go to the end and stop. It'll just keep doing it over and over and over again, which is important to consider when you're creating this loop, people are going to feel after they watch it a couple times, that if it was just five seconds per camera going in a loop, it would get really boring, really fast, and Yolo Live has already taken care of this. I'll show you how. First, did you notice that you can adjust how long each camera is up independently? So my picture on picture video, which is me, I'm gonna want that up a little bit longer. Let's go to seven seconds on that, done. The HDMI 3, which is my rear view of the thing. I don't really, let's do three seconds on that. And the USB from the side over here, let's do four seconds on that. And the overhead view will do five seconds. So we got three, four, five, and seven seconds. That's gonna be very different than if every single shot was the same duration. That's gonna make it very different. There are many different tools other than Yolo Box that can do auto switching, but they're not going to give you the variety to adjust the times for all the different cameras. We're going to put it in a loop. Now, switching order, random or sequential. If you go sequential and you had all the time set up at exactly the same thing, it might be okay for one or two passes, but after a while, people watching it are going to feel one, two, three, four, one, two, three, for, it's going to get really boring really fast. It's going to be like watching a security camera automatically switching the cameras. It's, going to, it's not what you want. You want to have some variety to it. So you're really going to want to random. Say done. Next, main video source. This is really special. Having a main video source like me talking to you, this is the most important thing. Now, you can tell the YOLO Live which is your main video source? It's my picture in picture video. It's this one. This is where I build that connection with my viewers. So I want to come back to this one more than everything else. So we're going to set that. And in addition, you can say what's your picture in picture video. You know, you could say, oh, stay on this one for 12 seconds, uh, but we're going to leave it at seven seconds done. When you don't have this one selected, none, that other time is not available there. So you can't, you know, that menu option is not available. When you select it and you picture and you pick a video for that, then you have that duration there. So we've got a variety of times. We're going to pick random 
and we've got our picture in picture video or our sp specific video that we want to come back to. So this one is the seven second start of the whole interaction. I'm talking to you about how important it is and how cool auto switching is when you're using the YOLO Live Pro. Now it's going to look at my overhead view. See, you can see this is the tool. I've got my cameras connected over here, but back to me because this is the important shot. I want to come back. I want to build that rapport with you, my viewer. And now it's going to cut to a different view showing you, look, I've got these, you know, things set up here on my table and back to me. That was a very fast cutaway. And now if it cuts away to camera four or the back camera, you can see I'd have just enough time to show you this and it's kind of cut right back to me because that's that much of an interesting shot. I don't need to sit on it very long. So now it's going to cut to something else. It's going to cut back to my overhead view. I'm going to turn this off and get back to me. So you can see really quickly how that can really come together and start building a show for you and you can keep that rapport. So if you're a DJ and you're, and you're doing a show and you're, and you're mixing on the turntables, you don't have to switch the cameras. It's going to do it for you, but you have that, you can make that contact with your viewer. Um, if you're doing crafts, you can talk about it and it'll cut away and go to the different close-ups. So your hands are busy and it's doing the auto switch for you. Very, very handy. It could be a concert. You want to be on the conductor a little bit more than most everything else. And you can have that do it automatically. And then you can be focusing on other things. Like you could be operating one of the cameras. You could be operating the main camera, zooming in and getting a shot, zooming out. You can, you can vary what the shot looks like while the camera's switching away to something else. That is one of the real beauties of having that happen automatically where you don't have to worry about it. What, what I mean when I say things would look very automated, I'm going to switch all of these to five seconds. Done. I'm going to switch this to five seconds. Done. I'm going to put it on sequential. Done. And I'm going to turn off my main video source. So now we're going to turn this on. It's going to stay on me for five seconds and then it's going to switch probably to my overhead view. You can see this is the camera. This is the item I'm talking about. And then now it'll probably turn to my side view and here are my two devices. And what do I have plugged in? I've got these things plugged in in the back here and then it's going to cut back to me. That's all well and good. But then pretty quickly you can see it's going to go back to the overhead view. And then after a couple seconds of the overhead view, it's going to go back to the side view. And then after a couple of seconds with the side view, you're going to look back here at my inputs and you go through it twice. And now all of a sudden you realize you know exactly what's going to happen and it gets very boring. So you can see there's a big difference between sequential with the same exact times and no priority camera versus a variety of times for each of the cameras, random selection of the cameras, and really making sure that we have one camera that we come back to more often than the other cameras. That is really the magic of this 1.7 update for the auto switching capability. It really does put it in a class by itself. So this has been my quick look at just the new auto switching capability in the YOLO Live 1.7 update. My name is Anthony Brokus for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.